It's hard to imagine a world without butter. But like salt, it's one of those things you may not think about until it's missing from a recipe or absent from the table. Whether you're a professional chef or a novice home cook, butter is a culinary unifier that is a constant in the kitchen. Butter has the power to create a mouth-watering sauce or simply elevate French toast. But for most of us, we just buy butter at the store. But in reality, homemade butter is actually really easy to make with the right tool and a little patience. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make homemade butter, then we'll taste it to see if it really is better than the store-bought stuff. So let's get churning. Hello and welcome to I Want to Cook. My name is Chef Matt and this channel is all about helping you be a better cook. And today's episode is all about butter, specifically homemade butter. Now I know the idea of homemade butter might sound daunting, but in reality, it couldn't be easier to make. To make butter, you need exactly one ingredient, specifically cream. It can be heavy whipping cream, heavy cream, or simply whipping cream. Any of those will work, but this is what you use to make butter. In fact, this might sound familiar. If you've ever made homemade whipped cream, well, you're actually on your way to making homemade butter. Now, as with whipped cream, to make homemade butter, you need one other thing, and that is a tool to make it in. Uh, specifically, a tool that can separate the cream into the solid butter and the residual liquid known as butter milk. Now, this machine can be your arm or a kitchen appliance like a blender, food processor, or mixer. Now, at its most basic, you can put cream into a jar and just shake it until the butter fat separates from the liquid. Now, I personally haven't tried this, and from what I've read online, I don't want to. According to a really interesting post by the King Arthur website, it can take a long time, and even the author didn't really have much luck doing it that way. Uh, if you have, please let me know in the comments below. It sounds like an arduous task. And then there's something like this, another manual tool. This is a vintage Kilner butter churner, and the way it works is you put the cream in and then you crank this, and then according to Kilner, you should have butter in about 10 minutes. Uh, this was actually what I was planning to do to make this video, is to show you how to make butter in one of these, and then, well, I tried it. I cranked and cranked and cranked, and then I cranked some more, well past 10 minutes, on to 15 minutes, and well, to my disappointment, there was no butter. There was just maybe some slightly thickened cream. That's when plan B turned to plan A. Or maybe I should say plan K for this baby. This is my vintage Hobart KitchenAid that I found at a thrift store for only $30 a couple of years ago. I made an entire video on the specialness of this machine, and I'll link to that in the description below. But of all the methods I tried for making homemade butter, well, this is the one that I recommend. I should note that I also tried making butter in both a food processor and a blender. And while it can be done, the results to me just weren't as good. Uh, that's because I didn't get that liquid separation and I got something more like whipped butter. Uh, still delicious, but not quite the butter that this thing can make. So if you have a KitchenAid or a different type of stand mixer, you can make butter in no time. But a couple of tips. You'll want to use the paddle attachment and, well, not the balloon whisk. If you use something like this, well, you're probably going to get whipped cream instead of butter. Uh, you're also going to want to have a towel handy for reasons you'll see why very soon. And one other thing, just set the cream out about 30 minutes before you want to make butter. I found that it's easier to make the butter when the cream isn't so cold right out of the refrigerator. 
For your first time doing this, I recommend using about two cups of cream. So we are going to pour our cream into a Pyrex glass here, and that's what we're gonna pour into our KitchenAid. And now we will pour the cream into our mixing bowl. You're going to want to run your machine on about medium speed. And instead of assaulting your ears with the noise of the machine, I will assault your ears instead with me singing a medley of churn-based songs. What? You didn't know there's churn-based songs? Of course there are. Like... Churn around right now. Every now and then I get a little hungry. To every season, churn, churn, churn. I am churning down the house. Everybody get churns. Reading your future comments right now, please less singing, more food and thrift store finds. Duly noted. Okay, it has been just under 10 minutes. I do have some splashing here because I lifted the towel as this was going to film. Definitely have a towel ready, it will splash. But hey, guess what? We have butter. So let me show you what we have here. Check it out, y'all. We just made homemade butter. Now you're going to see some liquid here. Uh, this is called buttermilk, but it's really more like skimmed milk and you can save it and use it just as you would for skimmed milk. And here it is with the milk portion drained, leaving us with just solid butter. Would you look at that? We made our own butter in about 10 minutes. Now, you might be wondering, okay, but what does it taste like? Okay, so here we go. We have this beautiful bowl of freshly made butter. Now, I don't normally just eat butter plain, but I'm doing this for you. And let me tell you, there is nothing like this. It tastes almost like almost like cheese, like a really beautiful, fresh cheese. It doesn't taste like you're just eating butter like off of a block. This is absolutely amazing. Again, it is so creamy. It is so fresh, it is so delicious. Now, this is unsalted. If you wanted to add some salt to it to make salted butter, you can. And you could also add flavorings. You could make a sort of compound butter by adding spices or sweetness to it. The options are limitless, but if you have cream and a stand mixer with a paddle, you can make homemade butter in 10 minutes. Isn't that amazing? I cannot wait for you to try this. Put it on your toast, use it in your recipes. Heck, maybe even make some clarified butter with it. I think once you do this, any store-bought butter will just taste inferior. Okay, trivia time. The correct answer to last week's tool, which you might remember I showed you in my mother's kitchen. We were once again cooking at her place. Well, that is indeed the top of a pressure cooker, a pressure cooker valve for a vintage Miro pressure cooker. Yes, those old things that your grandmother might have used that you heard horror stories about of the lids exploding and whatnot. Anyways, never happened at our house, I don't think, but that was the top to a pressure cooker. Of course, today we have electric pressure cookers like Instant Pots, much easier to use, but that's what that was. For this week's kitchen tool trivia, who can identify this strange looking thing? Once again, we have something that looks like uh, some sort of medieval device. If you know what this is or you have a guess, put it in the comments below. I will, of course, let you know the correct answer in the next video. Hey, friends, as always, Thank you for hanging with me in the kitchen. Thank you for allowing my horrible singing. I hope it wasn't too bad. As always, 
Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Until then, I hope you want to cook.